now we are rolling. See where I am? Hi, hi. My name is Marta. Well, who cares? Um, five tips to help you survive vacation. Number one, even if you have to lie, it's okay. But if you are with people who you don't like, just get away from it. You can say, oh, I have a, a Zoom meeting with somebody. Oh, a friend of mine is really depressed, whatever. But stay away, okay? That's the number one. Number, oh, I hear it when that happens. Number two, write a diary. Uh, a diary is going to help you a lot. Um, don't, don't use any app. No, it's much better that you go to, to drive with a document, a Google document, you write it there. You can put images, everything, it's good. If you find yourself on Instagram watching penguins, there's a problem with you. So try to stay away from the cell phone and have a life, okay? Number four, pick up a, a closet, for instance, or the shelf where you have the, the documents, all the papers and books, and organize it, okay? Why? Because by the end of the holidays, of the vacations, you'll feel down and out as usual, and at the same time you think, well, but at least I organized my, my closet. Walnuts are very good for your mind. Okay, next one. Use the cell the cell phone to find in YouTube, YouTube comedy. Oh, I love Jack Benny, Dame Edna Everidge. I love Miranda and the Golden Girls, of course. Although my favorite on YouTube is, and Netflix, is Fran Leibovitch. I'm a fan of Fran Leibovitch. <laughs> Do you like my washing machine? Cute. I'm gonna do this real fast because my roommate is gonna come any moment from the street. Um, do you think you are the only person who hates holidays? You are not the only one. Why are you depressed? Why you don't love vacations, holidays? Because you don't have a, a, a routine. You don't have to wake up and go to the job and come back. Okay, you hate your job, but while you are way working, you are not facing yourself. You are not looking at your life. And in vacation time, yes, you are so bored that you, you start thinking, how's my life like? Where I'm going? Is it worth living? Okay, these kind of questions. You find that your life is kind of flat, like eating without salt and pepper. This malaise, these new sounds, it's good for you. Yes, it's good because you diagnose something, a void in your life. It can be a creative void or can be a spiritual void. How you feel up? Okay, you might have a problem and by solving this problem, you'll fill up this uh, spiritual void. For instance, do you eat too much? That is a 12-step program. Do you drink too much? That is a 12-step program. Do you buy too much? Okay. Uh, do you take drugs too much? Okay. There's a 12-step program. You don't do those things. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are in a toxic relationship. So there's always a 12-step for, for you. And if you work the steps, you fill up mm, that, that void. Okay? My roommate is gonna come any moment now from the street. Okay? I hope you like the piece. And it's my first piece in English. The other ones I did it in Catalan. I used to be a filmmaker. And I'm now a science teacher, so we'll talk about it, okay? Have a nice Christmas. Have a nice vacation time. Ciao, ciao. Bye. From Barcelona. <laughs>